Dan here, Max SPL Videos, and today we're gonna talk about the Newmark Mixstream Pro. So, I picked this thing up a few months back to replace a DDJ SX3, and I have very little regrets about that, which is uh, surprising, because that's a really nice unit. Mine was giving me some grief, but I, I, I actually don't miss it now that I have this thing. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the Newmark Mixstream Pro, this is sort of the little brother to the uh, Denon Prime series. It runs on the same operating system, but it has some of those features stripped back and just doesn't have some of the same build quality as some of those units. So it, it, I wouldn't say like, oh man, like there's no point in buying a Prime 2 or Prime Go. Like you can just get one of these. I would say if you're thinking about buying a Prime 2 or a Prime Go, get one of these first. Try it out. See how you like it. See how you like dealing with a standalone operating system versus having the laptop. There's some pluses, there's some minuses to that, but I, I've been kind of coming up on the plus side. I, I've been really liking having a standalone unit. Uh, one of the things that drew me to it was the fact that they have that engine lighting and oh boy, oh boy, do I love it. So we're gonna get to that in a bit. But if you haven't seen one of these before, which is unlikely, because chances are, if you're watching you know, my little channel and a review on this, you've watched probably five or six other reviews on this thing already, and you're just trying to justify it in your own head, or you've already bought one and you want to you know, justify your own purchase. If you feel called out, don't worry, I do the same thing. What we've got here is a two-channel standalone DJ system. It's not even really a controller, although now, thanks to a recent update, it can be used as a controller for uh, virtual DJ, which, yeah, that's kind of pretty sweet, right? If you want a system, like say you're on virtual DJ, you really like it, and you want a pretty darn good controller, but if your laptop crashes, it's your backup computer too. Get one of these now. G do that. Trust me. It, it's just do it. Um, if you're like me and you're just like, you know, I just kind of feel like ditching the laptop and just seeing how the Prime, uh, it's not Prime Engine anymore, Engine OS, see how that is and see if I like it. This is a perfect entry into that. And I think Denon as their, uh, you know, kind of step up company, this is gonna be driving sales to that, right? Like for me, I don't really feel the need to upgrade to something like a Prime 2, but when I do go to upgrade, that's probably the first thing I'm looking at is a Prime 2 or Prime 4 or whatever the iteration is gonna be when I go to do that, because I really like this thing and I wanna keep some of the features. Uh, yeah, so we've got a standalone two decks, um, it's limited in some respects, so let's just go over some of its limitations. We've only got four pads per side. Now, if you're the kind of person who needs eight performance pads on each side, they have just covered on some of their other units. I don't. I, I just never really used the performance pads. I'm doing a lot of weddings, a lot of school dances. I'm not really... <sighs> is not performing in that way. You might be. And if you are, this might feel like a limitation for you. Uh, that was one of the big limitations for a lot of people. Um, there is no aux in, right? This is a two channel unit. It's just got left, right, out on the top. And we'll get to that in a second because I have uh, actually a unique qualm with that. Uh, in the center here on the mixer, um, Eh, knobs are a little wibbly wobbly. I actually like the feel of a lot of the uh, the knobs rather, but the faders have a little bit to be desired. Uh, but, oh, the paddles. Oh, I like these. And they just, they feel right. They feel good. They're fun to use. Uh, if you're watching this and you've seen some reviews saying that uh, the effects though on this thing are its main drawback, that's been fixed largely. Um, they did a, at the time of recording at least, a recent update that has now made the effects adjustable 
on the touchscreen, where before there was no wet and dry, there was no you know quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth, anything like that. Now you have access to all of that, and you have access to all of it on the touchscreen, just a little bit along the bottom. It it's it's perfect. I if they had released it with that, I mean they sold a ton of these. These things, at least where I'm at, uh, they're really hard to get right now because supply chains, all that kind of crap. But they would have sold more. And I've I heard uh, I was watching. I think it was. Uh, DJ Tech Tip, something like that. Like one of one of the bigger DJ channels. And they were saying that they knew people who returned them because the effects were just unusable for what they wanted. For me, I I, I lived with them. They were fine because, again, I'm, I'm not using them a lot, period. Every now and then I would do an echo out. But that was kind of about it. But now, if I get more into that kind of thing, I can use them. They are much more usable. So that is awesome. Um, and yeah, just overall, that's that's the general thing here. We've got Q, save loop, auto loop, roll for our pads here. Uh, shift, sync, Q, blah, 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 scratch versus normal uh, effects. I think I've caught it, all this kind of thing. Uh, pitch faders are a little tiny. If you want long pitch faders, you don't get those here. Um, up at the top here, we've got a main volume and a speaker volume, because as you may have known on this guy, we've got these speakers down at the bottom. Now, for a standalone unit, I love that because I use this on its own when I'm, you know, browsing uh, requests from uh, or browsing requests on title and stuff and figuring out like kind of how stuff sounds if a song's suitable for a school dance that kind of thing I just do it right here on the unit I don't have to plug it in anything else I don't have to pull the laptop out I can just look them up on here click click boom and uh, in terms of practicing mixing and things like that so like if you're a beginner and you've got a terrible laptop and you want to get into this stuff get one of these because this is going to be so much better than using a bad laptop with an okay controller. Oh boy, right? Um, but uh, that's a little bit of a tangent. Uh, let's get back to a little bit of uh, stuff. So one gripe I kind of have with it when looking at the back is uh, it is a wall wart or line wart, depending how you want to phrase it, uh, power supply, uh, which I get cost saving, keeps heat out of the chassis as well. So we, we can kind of live with that. But uh, yeah, it, it does need a proprietary-ish uh, power cable. So it, you got to make sure you bring it. Um, I, I prefer IEC for the simple fact of then I have an IEC. Oh, I forgot the IEC that came with this. I've got a backup in my bag, right? So I'd prefer it, but life goes on. Um, formerly almost useless USB port, but now it works with Virtual DJ, which is cool. Um, we got two USBs here, one of which unfortunately ends up being used up for running my lighting. In future iterations of this, I would like to see just a straight up uh, DMX out. If you're listening to this, uh, I think it's, is it in music who owns Newmark and and uh, Denon and all that? Just give us a DMX out and it, Instead of having like, oh, for free, you can control Philips Hue lights, have it that this can control like one like 16 channel light or something like that, or a 10 channel light or eight channel or whatever the heck, right? So that I can plug this into a set of par cans and try the engine lighting with proper DJ lighting. And then as I grow and get my moving headlights and things like that, I'm already used to the system. I'm already addicted to how easy it is to work with this you'll get more of us on your lighting than you'd expect, okay? Trust me, like integrate it in a little more and just on the hardware side. And I mean, I'll be happy, especially because uh, I had a bit of trouble tracking down at first a uh, the USB dongle. You may as well, depending on the time that you are purchasing yours. One pro tip, uh, my local store just had a bunch with quite a bit of dust on them. Uh, from what I can tell, online retailers were selling out of them because people were just snatching them up online because they wanted to try some of the new uh, features that uh, 
their lighting software was using. But nobody was going to the store for it. So like my local, uh, like here, it was along McQuaid. They had like five on the shelf. They only had one of these, but they had five of those USB dongles. And like I was hearing from everybody, like uh, the store I originally ordered one of these through and had to cancel because they screwed me over, uh, which is why shop local. Yeah, they uh, they were quoting me like four or five months to get the USB dongle where I walked into another store and bought it, right? Uh, so ser- serves me right for shopping online instead of going to my local retailer. Um, SD card slot that I've been using. Now they've got two sets of main outs. It'd be nice to have a booth out, but I tend not to use a monitor. I just use my headphones. So if you need a booth out, that is a major limitation of this. Not for me, might be for you. And then they've got, so unbalanced RCA. Uh, they do have XLR outs, which is really nice. You can plug these straight into a set of powered speakers. You're ready to go. I'm using an outboard mixer. Um, so having the XLRs is, it's a mixed bag um, because I, I need to use a converter to go to quarter inch to go into one of, it, it, yeah, it's, I'd rather they have these than any other output, but for my current setup, it was a little bit annoying, but that's just me. For almost everybody else, this is a perfect set of outputs on this. Like, you you just can't go wrong. Um, Cool, but I think that covers like the majority of the thing itself. Um, Like I said, I've been really enjoying it. Uh, The lighting integration with sound switch is brilliant. Uh, That is the reason that I got this is, I wanted to simplify my setup while having to bring that outboard mixer and stuff with me due to my previous uh, controller giving me some problems. And this just solved that problem. I didn't have to have my laptop running beside me with Serato and then in the background having sound switch or another software running there and then having a USB to MIDI thing going on with a uh, like a MIDI pad thing. No. This, the control on this, it's brilliant. Uh, you can program stuff ahead of time or the auto loops on this actually work really, really well. Um, the touchscreen control to change the positioning of your moving heads while at the venue without having to pull out the laptop. Uh, I was very happy about that. Uh, I was at a uh, wedding expo of sorts a few months ago now and I aimed my moving heads up at the ceiling so I could have them moving around but not shining into the eyes of any of the onlookers or any of the other booths. And on the fly, I could adjust them all. And now at the next venue I go to, I can go and put all of my presets to, okay, that will be one spot. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. Hit play. It'll move to those spots. It's it's awesome. Um, and yeah, the engine DJ or engine OS software uh it's great if you're wanting to spend the time going on there if you're a serato guy that is used to having every song ever at your hands no matter what time of day uh because you're running you know your three terabyte hard drive and it's organized perfectly for your thing this might not be for you if you're like me where you bring you know, a couple gigs of your most played music and a playlist that you've already curated for the event so that you've got, you know, your 70 songs lined up. These are the ones I'm likely going to go to, but then I have all of my backup stuff for requests and for, you know, they, you know what, they're not digging that vibe or, you know, I've shown up to Christmas parties where I find out at the party, there's no spouses here. They, they weren't allowed to have a plus one. There's just too many people. Oh, well, slow songs they're out all right cool right so you need to have some versatility um this i think suits better though yeah people like me where you you've you've curated stuff for the event but then you've got plenty of space on the sd card for other stuff as well as the streaming integration oh boy does it ever work easy um as far as i can tell i could be wrong on this you can't have a playlist that has both your songs from say title and songs from your SD card, but you can put both of them into your prepared list. So while you're mixing and stuff, if you've got, you know, some requests, you can mix them up in the prepared folder and easily access them. So that's really handy right there. Um, Yeah. Anyway, this is a 
not the most long-winded review I've ever done, but uh, yeah, I, I just, I can't recommend this thing enough. If you're an aspiring DJ, you're new to this and you don't want to go and buy a new laptop because your old one's falling apart and everybody has told you that you need a MacBook Pro or you're, you may as well just uh, pack it in. Or if you are a wedding DJ who is looking to, uh, you know, simplify your setup, this is just perfect for a lot of situations. I almost forgot to mention this. And uh, Dan in, in music, whoever the heck is doing the programming for Engine OS, maybe there's a way to do this. If there is, please comment below and let me know. Whether it's just a general user who's, like I said, somebody who's already bought this like me and likes watching reviews for stuff you already own. Or if you happen to uh, just know offhand or work for, you know, Newmark or Denon. Uh, how do I set this thing to mono? Give me mono. Yeah, feel free to clip that. Uh, but yeah, give me mono. Uh, uh, the fact that I can only do left, right. Um, what the hell? Let me do left as left or mono and or stereo, right? Somewhere in the software, you must be able to give me a button I can click to turn this thing to run in mono. Because uh, then I can only... Like if I'm running mono on everything, I can just take up one channel on my mixer with this instead of having to run it into stereo. Uh, on top of that, if I'm running it into stereo, uh, I have to then use my mixer to sum it to mono. I'd rather just one cable out of here. You know, one XLR to a uh, quarter inch, pop it in. Problem solved for me. So uh, give me mono. That's just please. Um, other than that, yeah, like I said, I'm super happy with it. Uh, it's light, it's easy to carry around. Uh, it is a kind of a perfect form factor where it's, it's not small, but it's not giant. Um, I did find at the time of recording this, they, I mean, I haven't checked since I got mine, but, uh, there wasn't very many bags or cases or anything like that that were specific for it. Um, I did find this guy from Gator. Uh, this is the... GK2110. Uh, so just uh, disclosures as I'm, I tend to do over disclose. Uh, I am a Gator dealer. So uh, take this recommendation with that grain of salt. I am not a uh, Newmark dealer, though I have reached out to them a few times and uh, pandemic supply chain stuff. It's just never worked out. Um, but yeah, this guy, it fits almost perfect in. So if you're looking for something that will protect it pretty well. It's a little tight, but a little bit of little bit of effort, you can get it in there, and then you've got a case to carry it around with you. Ooh, wouldn't that just be funny if I dropped the whole thing on the ground? Uh, but yeah, yeah. So it fits in there, nice tight pouch in the front for your cables and for your unfortunately, external power supply. That's the only other real gripe I have, like I said. Um, but overall, highly recommended. Not gonna give it a numerical value because uh, I don't know how to quantify that I like a product in that manner all the time. But yeah, if you wanna see more videos like this, if you wanna see this thing in action and actually want to see uh, like gig logs and stuff, let me know if that's something that you're into. Um, but uh, either way, Hopefully see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. See you next time.